the the process for finding a piece of land was 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 uh, it was probably a six year process, and it had so many ups and downs. It had so many. Uh, I think we're there moments in it and our first property that we circled on a map was this one. And I remember that when they went out to talk to landowners or to investigate, the door was shut immediately. So to think about the times we went on to the number two pick and uh, I remember sitting in meetings and talking about this piece of land and then somebody would say, let's just go out and pray over it. And so we would pile in our cars and drive out there and just stand on the land and pray and be like, God, just show us, like open the doors, let us know, is this where you want us to be? Is this your preferred future for this campus? And we would be working on these different pieces of land and it would be like, oh, this is so clear. Yes, this door's open, this door's open. And then bam, a door would shut to know that we are almost going to buy. I mean, I think they're about ready to sign on the line for a certain piece of land. And somebody who was a part of this, our first choice said, wait a second, I think these people want to have a conversation about this piece of land that you guys originally wanted. So the cool God story is, is that the very first piece of land that we all thought was the best, God just needed us to work on us a little bit and our timing to show us the perfect time for the number one pick. And it was, it was almost as if God said, I think you're ready now. And, and so there was just something interesting about, um, I think everybody understands what it means to wait uh, for different things. This was a hard wait. And, uh, but there was, something, there was something beautiful that came in the waiting. There was something, something good that came out of the, the uh, determination it took to trust God and to continue to wait. From the very beginning, we talked about how we wanted this to be a partnership. Partnership with um, AHTS Architects, a partnership with Peters Construction, a partnership with the subs, and that has actually happened. That has played out. And it's because of the efforts of a lot of people. And that has been so amazing. As I have sat in um, construction meetings weekly, with our subcontractors and with Peters and with Duane. There's just been this attitude of we're for you, we're with you. Um, it's been, hasn't been a, they haven't been tense meetings at all. They've been friendly, people kind of kid around and they joke. There's been a real sense that we are in this together and we know each other. I just am so grateful for that. The first time I walked into the, uh, to the worship area, um, when we had it all cleaned up and the flooring was done and we had all the acoustic panels up and, and I was I was shocked how excited I was. Um, you know, I, I built a lot of buildings um, and you know, it's always exciting um, when you get to the end of a project and everything's cleaned up and it's painted and you know, it just, you know, it looks good and you're excited about it. But this was special to me. It really was. I, uh, I think you know any, all the rest of the team that was there that day probably sensed um, how excited I was and how how I could really already feel the Holy Spirit moving in that place. The biggest emotion I probably had was on uh, the first uh, uh, Sunday that it was open on March fifth. And I went in and the worship center was designed for like 310 to 325. There was well over 400 people uh, in the worship center and everything went fantastic. So it was more a, of a sigh of relief on my part uh, was my big emotion that to see it being used as we had hoped it would. I've seen so much energy around the idea that now there will be a building in Grinney Center that can be shared with the community, that we can offer and ha invite people into our space, that we can share and risk with them so that they can have a place and that they can see us as a partner in the, in the Grinney County community. I just think that's, that's amazing. And I think that's been one of our biggest prayers 
about this new building is that people feel the same way about this new building that they felt about the theater, and that is that this is a community regional building. It's something that serves Grundy Center and all the communities around it. It serves the county well. Um, it f has a natural feel, it has a draw uh, that, that people just really feel comfortable coming there. All the prayers and the different pieces of land that we went to and some of the struggles of setting up and tearing down every Sunday. God was just like, here it is. This is the new space. I think that I think God has amazing big plans for that tool. I don't I think we're gonna be blown away in the years to come by what he's gonna do there. I don't think we have any clue.